Now here we have it, the humble old knife. Where would we be without this utensil? And where would we be without this utensil for fishing? Because this cheap utensil that you can pick up for, well, you can pick up for a pound, but uh, these ones are two pound for a pack of four, can be turned into a very useful implement for fishing. They can be turned into casting jigs, metal casting jigs, very quick, easy, simple, design it your own way, and you can cast them out anywhere in the world. They'll take bass, anything. And you can um, obviously go out and buy the thickness of knife handle that you want that will give you a heavier jig. You can get knives with long thin handles like this one. This is long and thin. Um, it's not that thick. You can get knife handles in comparison. There we are. That's a bit fatter there, like so. And then you could probably go to a charity shop and get ones that are really thick, that hold a lot of weight. So let me show you the tools that I used to build these jigs. Now here on the table in front of me are the tools required to build these jigs. Basically I've got an angle grinder. I've got two blades for the angle grinder. I've got a cutting disc and I've got a grinding disc. You're going to want to use the cutting disc to actually cut the shape and then you can just grind it down and curve off the edges with the grinding disc. And then I've got a drill with a 2.5 metal drill bit. And that is basically all you need. Also to make these jigs, I've used some add-on 3D eyes that you can get on eBay from China. I've got some split rings. Um, these are ones that are size ones, the right size for the lure. And then I've got some trebles. Um, I don't know what size these trebles are, but um, just you can probably um, work out the size by looking at the lure that you make. Right, it's very easy to build these jigs. What I basically do is as the handle meets the blade, I tend to cut straight off somewhere there, like that. And then at this point where, where the handle meets the blade, I take an angle up to that point there. Once that is cut, you can then use your grinder and you can curve this bit out here, grind that out to a nice point, and then you can just curve this belly off here with the grinder, so you've got a nice smooth round point there. You can make that longer if you wanted. You could go all the way down here and make a really long needle nose, like a little garfish or something. Um, it's entirely up to you. So you want to cut at the end of where you want the nose to be, cut that off, and then you can cut that angle. And then just grind it round to that point. And then with the drill, drill a small 2.5mm hole as close to the edges as you can. And then again at the tail, in the middle, you want to put a hole right through there. Just with the metal drill bit. Don't put too much pressure because you'll break the drill bits. But um, just enough pressure to cut through the metal. Once that's cut into shape, then you can keep it as it is, nice and shiny. You can add your eye wherever you want. What I tend to do is I epoxy the eye in place. Um, tiny bit of epoxy resin, put that in place. And if I was leaving that shiny like this, that would be it, an epoxied eye. Add the split rings at each end and put a treble at that end and that would be done. Now some of these I've painted, so what I would, would do is I would rough this up very lightly, just rough it up with a grinding disc all over just to give it the paint something to purchase to and then a quick spray with a primer spray paint and then your colour of choice then I put the eye on and then I cover the whole lot in a clear lacquer and there we have it simple way to turn this knife into something useful for fishing um, and obviously Knives come in all different shapes and sizes. You can get knives with nice frilly patterns all along them. You can use those and they would 
shine the light in different angles. You can get knives with really thick handles, which is going to give you a lot of weight. You could also cut these a lot shorter and have little dumpy ones, and you can cut it here like, like so. And this again would work as a nice little short casting jig. You can pick knives up so cheap and second hand it a boot fair or something. You could probably pick up tens of them for, for pennies. And you could turn them into jigs. So there we are. I hope this video has helped. I hoped, hope some of you might go out there and start building your own jigs. And maybe catching some fish on them. They're very highly... Uh, Reflective with the silver, they can be painted any colour you want. Very versatile. Anyway, until next time, tight lines.